Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of the Zero Hour Quest mission that gives you this. It's a secret ex secret mission that dropped uh, in Destiny on Tuesday. The weapons are going to be used, and I'll be using the Long Shadow, which is the Vanguard Sniper as my primary for the whole thing. I'll be switching between Subtle Calamity, Oxygen Recluse, and Arc Mananin. I'm starting with 21% Delirium, but I'll be changing to the Whisper. I'm starting with a helmet that has heavy, uh, machine gun reserves on, but I'll be changing to Skull of Dire Arm Car. I've got a couple of gauntlets. I'm actually going to start with the third one, uh, this one. That's the one I'll be starting with, with heavy ammo finder on, and then I'll switch to, uh, the, the as you can see, the, the, the kind of bluey one on the third, that one. I'll be switching to that because that's got sniper scavenger and sniper loader, and my bond has sniper reserves on it. Now, the reason I've picked the weapons I've picked is because missions like this, if you don't have things that kind of make it easier, like those fallen armaments, they make this so much easier. I don't have any of those, so I'm not going to be dropping heavy relentlessly, and I'm not going to get my grenade back, so I have to do the job with just what I'm coming in with. So, I figured that in the first two rooms, that the ads that would be the most, that needed to be taken out first... And would be the most troublesome. Would be arc shielded. So I wanted an arc heavy. So these captains. They will. You know. Once you start firing. They kind of relentlessly pursue you. And. The 21% delirium is good for a couple of reasons. The first reason. Is when you run over ammunition. You reload. And it doubles that. Doubles the ammunition. Put down a. I've got. A, I've got healing rift. I was going to go with empowered rift for the boss section, but it turned out I didn't need it. And as you can see, we get to kill and tally. When you kill an enemy, well, it's not on the screen now because I changed. But if you kill an enemy and you keep your heavy out, you get this thing called kill and tally, which increases your damage. And as you can see, we've ran over ammo there. I've still got kill and tally on. We've ran over ammo, and it re it reloaded the weapon, but it also it doubled its magazine size. That's one thing I really like. So as you can see, we've changed to the oxygen, and we put a skull of diorama car on. I've kept the heavy out so we can keep that kill and tally on. We're going to take these arc shanks out here first, and then there's a set of arc shanks just up to our left. We're going to take them out. There they are. We're going to take those out while we've got the kill and tally on. I'm going to put a grenade over on this shank. It'll do a bit of damage to the shank. But we want it to really deal with those sniper shanks. So I call those big shanks saber shanks. Because when they were first introduced in Destiny. It was in the, a strike in D1 called the fallen saber strike. So I just call them saber shanks. Just in case you wonder what I'm talking about. Most people wonder what I'm talking about. So take down take down that saber shanks uh, shield. And then we're going to jump up on here. If, if you don't recognize this area. Then what? What have you been doing with yourself? This is the original D1 Plaza. And I'm standing on top of Eververse's... Uh, this, this, was this Eververse? This was the Postmaster. That was the Postmaster right there. And Eververse was around the other side. Same building, but you had both of them there. So, once we take down that that uh, fall, Saber Shank from on top of the building. We drop down. We take down the, the Arc Shanks. And then we Nova the last... Uh, saber shank with the two vandals and then we're, we're gone so we do have heavy ammo finder on we've got a skull of dire arm car on we've still got the oxygen on so and we've got a sniper i'm just checking just to make sure as you can see we do have the gauntlets on with heavy ammo finder what i will be doing during and during half about halfway through three quarters of the way through i'll take off the oxygen I'll put on the recluse. If you don't have the recluse, that's fine. Any any decent impact void weapon will do. It's just I put the recluse on because I can run and gun with it. Uh, I'll take I'm taking all these vandals out, and there's a couple of sniper shanks as well that we're going to take out. Right side's kind of clear now. Now we're going to work on the solar shielded shanks. So as you can see, there's two just round the corner. There's a couple up at the back. Now what I'm going to do is once I've took these shanks down, I'm going to fire my Nova. Now I'm doing this very specifically. So once they're down, I jump up and I fire my Nova above the first set of ads and above the first servitor. Because it will track whatever it's closest to. 
So if I thought far enough above the first set of ads, it will track the server that's down low, which will then kill all the ads. Now we'll, we'll equip our, our uh, delirium. Just take down the second shank shield. You need to kill this second shank when the uh, second server, or not shank, I'm still calling them shanks. You need to kill the second server when it's up there because that, if you've ever seen it in runs or you've experienced it for yourself, that's the one that drops down and then you've got two right next to each other that shield each other. Don't let that server drop down because then it, it just adds tons of time on. Once this section's clear, take out the the spider tank's leg from here and then just keep smashing away at the crit spot. Cool thing about this is it doesn't matter how many rounds you use as long as you, you've kept hitting crits, even if you've seven crits, so three crits you get them back, three crits you get them back, the first crit after that, if that's the kill, it gives you that ammo back. So it's a pretty cool thing about the Whisper. Now, the cool thing about the Recluse is, as you can see, we got a kill with the Sniper, but we still propped the Master at Arms. But we are going to finish with the Sniper. So, this is the state of play. We've got seven energy. We will get a bit more energy as we're going through. We've got six Whisper. And the Recluse, obviously. But we're gonna, what we're going to do, when we go in here, we're going to look for the Captain. Always look for the Captain first and throw the Nova. It's the ca I don't care about the rest of the ads. It's the Captain I want dead. So we'll use our sniper and just kill these ads. And then what we'll do is, once as soon as we get our super, we will nova this saber shank and then we'll just snipe the last two ads. And that's sort of this area clear. There's some special up there. I'll grab that. Now I did say in my over exuberant jubilation of actually doing this getting it done i did state that this was a flawless run it's not flawless i died at the i died at the fans bit annoying actually because i never die at the fans so I'd do the whole thing pretty quickly efficiently and then die at the one place that you feel super confident it's probably why i died there actually because i felt super confident at that part so unfortunately this isn't a flawless solo one death. I'm not too worried about it. And once you get past here, I time gate everything. So I'm kind of I I've I've got time stamp mental time stamps that I go right. Okay, we're at this time. It's a good run. My fastest run before this of getting out of the, these sections was about eleven minutes. I always had problems at the the tank area. That was the one that took me the longest. But as you can see, we're just over. Just over 13 minutes, just under 13 minutes, so I knew this was going to be quick. Now we're at the jumping section, which obviously leads us to Trevor. Trevor is so cool. He is, he's pre pretty cool. It's nice to have something like that in the game that people have, you know, meme-worthy characters. My only advice, I'm at my, my agility is at four, and I'm on a warlock. So, notoriously not the fastest for getting through the jumping sections does allow for a little bit more precision but what i would say is you the jumps in this you do have to be precise and you, timing comes into it there's a lot of timing that comes into this jumping puzzle but more so if you're if you're just using this to reference to go through it with a team take your time you know don't i mean i, I i'm i'm quite quite decent at jumping not saying anybody that can't, you know, that's worried about it isn't decent at jumping. I'm just saying it's always been a strength of mine, so I've never worried about jumping. If you are not so great at jumping, just take your time. And and don't just, if you do it wrong a couple of times, don't just keep doing it. Try and work out what you're doing wrong. Change up something. You know, the only way something changes. <laughs> Miraculously, the only way something changes is if something changes. So don't, if you fail at something, don't just keep doing it the same way, thinking eventually this is going to work. Eh, might not. So now we're through this section. We're at the fans. This is my death right here. I, I boosted too early, thought I was past the fans. And as you can see, really strange, landed on the fans and couldn't get off them. Really annoyed at that, as you can see. But this is the way I should have done this. So when I go into these kind of red, red things, I boost... 
keep myself against the wall, turn and look for the next platform. Now the turning thing, I turn and then, but I'm holding my left stick so that it keeps me against the wall. I'm pressing back on it so it keeps me against the wall. And that's how the fan should have been done the first time. This section, a lot of people players have problems with this. I try and make sure when I land on the platform, I land actually on the platform. Not, I'm touching down on the ledge, not hitting the wall, because that's what a lot of people do. They, they land too quickly on it and bounce off the wall. But other than that, like all of this jumping, it's just practice. I've only got four mobility on, nothing special. I do, I, th I think, I think the recluse are lightweight frame. It's another reason I used it. So that could help as well. And now we're at Trevor. So this is a really simple way to do Trevor. You can see he will pass below you, drop down and follow him. He, he's not bothered about you. He's, 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 he's in a rush. He's got places to go and people to try and catch. This is the left side, obviously. So the way I do Trevor is L1, L2. Then I come back, jump across the centre. There's a gap in the middle where you can jump from the left to right side or vice versa. So L1, L2, come back, jump across the middle, R1, then R2, and then we're out. And you'll never have to hide from Trevor if you do that. It all depends. If you jump down behind him and you see him, then you're, you're in the right time frame to not get caught. But if you get there and he's not there, then the, the, the rotation's kind of messed up then. So as you can see, I just jump onto this first pipe and then boost across to the second one. And then we head back to our right to get R1. And then up to R2. And then that's us heading towards the Cryptoc Hall and the boss. Now, I'm going to speak a bit about the boss so that I can... I might try and give you my, my views on the boss and let you guys just watch the boss because I wasn't sure whether I should commentate this run or whether you guys would like to actually watch it. But I decided to commentate it because I feel that's what a lot of people expect from me now. So I'm going to speak about the boss now so that you guys can just watch what I'm doing. I keep on the long shadow and then I start with the bow. I'll change to the bow on the left to maximise time because... I don't play on PC, so I can't change my weapons within 30, you know, 0.5 seconds. I would like to be able to. And yes, I do play with an external hard drive, and it's still as slow as what you see on the screen. And it's a good external hard drive, and I'm playing on the PlayStation Pro, which I recently upgraded. So we're going to start with a subtle calamity. We're going to snipe all the, the, the four vandals. That are over by the turrets. We're going to move to the back of the map. As you'll see me do. Get out, get out a shooting range from all the ads. Snipe the four vandals. And then switch to the bow. Take out all the rest of the dreg. Then I'm going to try and put some whisper shots on the boss. To get the first server to, to come. When the server comes. Because I'm using warlock. I'm going to know over him. Wait until you see the shanks pass in front of him. They kind of change position. If you fire before they do that. You're... You just won't touch his shield at all. Well, hardly at all. So he will do... Those shanks will cross over. And then he'll teleport. It's not really. He just moves forward a little bit. Then fire your... Your... Your Nova. You'll probably still have to deal some damage on him. And there's a good chance you'll have to take down some shanks. They're all void shield. Which is why I've got this on. Then you'll switch to arc and take the shanks over. So if we say where the boss starts is the, the front. Yeah, we'll say that's the front. He goes on a uh, anti-clockwise. So he'll go from where, where he is. If you're looking at where his starting point. He'll go front, left, back, right and then back to the front. So as you can see he's at the front now. We're going to the back. Right? So... Void, void to take down the shanks that drop to start with. Then you'll need to change the arc to take down the, the arc shanks that will be over to the left. Then you'll need to change to solar to take down the shanks that, that will be with the second server, which is spawns in where you're standing. And then back to arc. And once you change back to arc, that's it. You'll be arc for the rest of the run. So the kind of plan is... Take out all the ads, make sure there's no grenade thrown ads. 
put a couple of shots on him, then he'll go. And then the server will come. Once you've took this server down, the, underneath us is like a little channel that goes underneath this platform. That's where I go to change weapons. I try and stay around around that area. I don't just run over to that area. I try and stay around that area. So that's the teleport. Now he's come back. It hits him clean on. It does take some, some of the, the shanks. And it takes him. So that's him gone. That's this section clear. There's the arc shanks. I've just collected that heavy. And this is the little channel. Run through this channel. Get into cover. And then change your weapon. And once you've changed to arc, I'm using the Mananum because it's got good range. It's, it's just, it's probably, it's probably my favorite all-time weapon in the game. And it does the job really well. If you kill one, the explosion kills the other, it's all good. Change to solar, which is the oxygen. Now what we're going to do is we've got one Nova. So we, we want this boss to go. So we'll put a couple of hits on him. I've only got five heavy now. Now, as you can see there, I ha I threw my Nova. I'll put a charge a grenade and throw it on him now. I threw my Nova, but because I threw it at an angle, it tracked the ads closest to to you know. I had to pass by the shanks to get him, so it tracked those. So when you're firing a Nova, make sure you're directly in front of the ad you want to kill. In this case, the servers. And then it, it it won't it won't meet anything before it gets to the server. Nothing will cross its radar. Now we're going to change the arc. And that will be what we stay at for the rest of the run. Behind us, there's a platform. We're going to get up back left. We'll get into posi a position where we can hide from the first, the, the, the left-hand tank. We'll take the right-hand tank from that position. Once we take that tank down, we will then move out a little bit to the right so we can see the left-hand tank. And then we can take it from the same platform. And then once both tanks are down, we're going to make sure all the, all, the, all the shanks are down from over here. We'll drop down. We're going to put it on the boss. Just We're going to move into that center section. There's not, no, real, no real tactic for that. But make sure... As much as possible, you've got the three headshots on the boss before you have to take your whisper down in case you get pushed by invisibles. Now, as you can see, I was getting hit there. That's that's those guys. They were shooting at me, and there's invisibles. So, as you can see, now we're going to... I'm going to have to commentate this whole part, really, aren't I? <laughs> so, we move to the right a little bit and take down, take down this... Uh, tank you don't have to jump from one platform to another you can do it all from the same platform then once this tank goes down right here then we'll drop down to the middle section because it's easier to take the boss from down here so you can see we've got some invisibles so we'll just get our sniper up that's one there's another one and that'll be the last one we've got to deal with and he's kind of standing there he's not got a clue uh is this where you want me boss so we've got one sniper up, one 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 uh, sniper up at the right hand side, and those two shanks. We've killed everything else. I think we've got a couple more invises. Yep, there he is. So we'll just kill him there, and he dropped heavy. The minute he dropped that heavy, just a, a fun fact, I was kind of worried that I didn't have like a lot of heavy. I had enough. If you see the actual performance against the boss here, I had enough. But, uh, yeah, once I dropped that heavy brick, I knew I'd done it. And that that's thats all there is to it. Make sure, make sure if you miss, the best thing to do is just reload and then get your whisper breathing back because that, that's the big damage. And there we go, guys. That's how you complete this solo. That's how I completed it solo. I hope this helps you if you're doing it on your own or you're running with a team. If you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. You know I always appre appreciate your viewership. Uh, I will try and get the heroic done and get that out as soon as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. Take it easy.
and I will see you in the next video.